This video is part one of a video series where I talk about stacking layers of edge. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So, as you may or may not know, I run a traders meetup in Manchester, UK, and it's the second Monday of the month. I'll try and include a link to it if you'd like to come uh, in the description below. But in the last meetup, I did a presentation. I'm talking about what I call stacking layers of edge. So I decided to do it again now with the PowerPoint slides for you guys on YouTube so you can have a look and see what I've been talking about. So this kind of thing is is something that I have implemented um, around about seven or eight years ago, I would say. Uh, and it, it's something that really kind of projected me forward a lot better in my trading. And I've seen other people kind of do a similar thing. Um, and it's not, it's not a, a crazy new thing or anything like that. But it's kind of something which, if you get right, you can have more confidence in your trade. You can just find those higher probability trades. So let's push on and let's talk about what it's all about and let's run through the whole thing. Okay, so the first thing is is kind of what is your trading edge, right? We hear the concept of trading edge talked about lows. You may have heard it, people saying, where's your edge? What's your edge? All this kind of stuff. And you know, we, let's start at the beginning. Let's start the basics and say to ourselves, what is trading edge? How do we define it so that we know to improve it, how we can adjust it, and how we can get a better edge than others? Now, the way I define trading edge is, listen, if you were to imagine that um, a standard trader, i.e. somebody with no skill whatsoever who's taking complete guess, would have a 50-50 chance of success in his trades. I'd say that's a given. You know, anyone off the street come in, you got to click buy, you click sell, 50-50 shot, the market goes up for the next day or whatever time period you are, or it goes down. It's pretty simple. So, as same with the, we're tossing a coin. Um, so for me, an edge is anything above 50% chance of success. Now, it sounds small, appreciated, but these are the kind of margins that a lot of traders and a lot of funds and algorithms work on. You know, 55%. Um, even less than that, but you know, imagine that you're more than 50%, knowing that over time, if you repeat that enough, you will make money. And it goes back to the kind of casino model that I've talked about before um, in videos on this channel. Is that you know, a casino has, for example, a roulette wheel, and there's a 50/50 chance of red or black until they come in and put that zero in. And when they put that zero in, it changes the odds in their favour. And basically, if you're betting on red, if it lands on black or that zero you lose the money. So the casino always gives them that little slither of edge over the 50-50. And over time, they know that just repeat, repeat, repeat the game, repeat the game, you will eventually lose all your money because the edge will erode your capital bit by bit by bit by bit. That's the thesis of the game. And also, obviously with a the casino, they don't want you to come in and just place one bet. They want you to come in and enjoy yourself and have fun and place loads and loads of small bets. They want you to stay there for a long period of time. The longer you stay stay there, the more frequency of bets you'll make, the smaller bet, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be small, but the more frequent your bets are and the more turnover they can get, then the more edge they've got. So as traders, we're kind of looking, let's go back to the point, as we're traders, we're looking to define edge as anything above 50%. If we can get all the way up to kind of 60, 70, 80 unlikely but let's just assume we want to try and get above 50 we want to try and get something that we know that over time if we oh we knock the camera off the off the top there we know over time that if we continue to do this setup and this strategy and this these trades we will make money that's what we can do as traders multiple strategies whatever whatever the case may be if we repeat the process we'll make money over time Okay, so the other thing to point out here is cementing this is that we understand that each trade outcome is indeed random, just like a casino does. They don't know if it's going to come up red or black or even on the green. They don't know. They don't care. They just know that over time they're going to process it. And this is why that we allocate risk capital to each trade and understand that you know each trade may not work, but if we repeat it enough, it will work. And that's the whole premise behind trading edge so we accept the risk we're not going crazy big on one on one trade we're going listen this is our risk capital total risk capital divide it over the the kind of period we want to trade and then we're putting incremental bits of capital risk capital into each trade we get that concept okay so moving on as far as i'm concerned there are two metrics that affect our trade there's a probability of success and the risk to reward ratio now, there's a third one as well, which is your kind of position size, but let's forget about that for now. Let's just keep it really foundations. 
The probability of success, the probability of success, if I can say the word probability, right? The probability of success. We have a situation where if we've got a really high probability of success, then our risk to reward ratio doesn't really need to be that high. Let's say we've got a 90% chance of winning trade. The risk to reward doesn't have to be that high. We can still make a good amount of trades and we're going to make a lot of frequently high trade, uh, frequently profitable trades. I'm going to make money. Or we can go and say, hey, the probability of success might be very low, but the risk to reward ratio is very high. And there are some kind of strategies and setups that that applies to where you think, you know what, chance of this working is slim, but it's very, very slim, small risk and the reward is really, really high. So I'm going to have a crack at it. I want to focus on in this, these videos is the probability of success. If we can define our trading edge as a probability of success and we can increase that probability of success with the method I'm going to show you in a second, then we may have a chance of increasing our edge over other traders. In other words, increasing it above 50, 50 and higher and higher and higher and higher until we get as high as we can. You know, pretty much linear. If we can get higher, more, uh, the more probability we can get of having a successful trade, obviously the more money we're going to make over the long term.